Hey guys, what's up? We are headed to the airport. I'm picking up a special guest that's going to help a lot of you. So his name's Preston, AKA Mountain Physio. He's a physical therapist, he's a bow hunter. And we're gonna team up and we're gonna make a series of videos to help you guys out. Some of you have previous shoulder injuries and you want to get your shoulders bulletproof so that you can bow hunt for many years to come. Some of you don't pull as much poundage as you'd like comfortably with good technique and form and be repeatable. We're gonna fix that. Preston's coming in today. If you're a bow hunter, shoulders matter. So we're gonna talk about shoulder health. You young guns, watch this. You old farts, watch this. And everybody in between, mountain physio in the house, Yeah, we are going to fling some sticks with Mountain Physio. So, here we go. Good morning. Good morning. Feeling great. Awesome. <laughs> We're at the home range, Spokane Valley Archery. Been coming here since 2001. So I kind of like, this is home range, man. Preston, what just happened? Man, I'm kind of rattled by that. I would have been ticked off if I was at full draw, but I had an animal pulling back and go to pull through the shot, click, and the release doesn't go off. So Dan's over here laughing, saying I need to cl clean my release aids, but. You yeah. might need a new spring, man. I think I need a new spring or something. Yeah, or there's I need, a... What's the most, what's that release you have? Uh, you just the two simple. I got, a, I got a wise choice in my truck. So, brought a backup. I have a backup. Try Always it. bring a backup. That'll work. Shouldn't do that. We'll uh, we'll do a full breakdown on his uh, setup, what he likes, why why are you using every piece on there, and then uh, we'll go shoot the course, get you guys some arrow flight. It'll be fun. Let's go. What are you adjusting, sir? One. So I'm going, um, move my sight. So you're not dialed right now? Of course I'm. Well, you're not dialed. Could be dialed. My release just broke. Give me a. Give me a break. <laughs> Seriously, way to bounce back. That's kind of like hunting. Yeah, I've never had that happen before. Oh no, it was weird. Like his shot wouldn't break. Yeah, that's that's. It's like, a good training it tool. Was <laughs> sketchy, actually. I was like, what? Yeah. Mountain physio in the Man, valley. You got, in the, you got it in the pump house there. That's Jeff Dodds. I told you guys he was coming. What do you got? Ninety-four. Send it. Ninety-four. I mean, I shot it for one hundred four, but don't worry about it. <laughs> Uh. With that math, you have the RX-8. <laughs> <laughs> Just big f***ing me at my home range. Uh, nice work, homie. Thanks, buddy. You get to pull. Good shoot. Thank you. I'll take a 10, but you, that's an 11. Yeah, I'm taking that. Um, I was feeling the pressure. Cool. Okay, low, low, low. So that one felt low. Both those shots, I guess, were low. So let's go back to 128. I think I got it here. Go, go 130. Yeah, true. Oh! <laughs> oh! That's nice. sick. Hi, are you Hi. filming? Yeah, yeah. Guys, so I like the way Preston. So Preston brought a backup release. I like that. Now, two is one. He didn't have two of the same release, so I'm gonna give him a slight little ding on that. But, he busts out this Carter RX-1. And his trigger work would make Joel Turner proud. He gets in on that trigger. You He's can just comfy watch in there. settled in there. Yeah. And then it's just keep, he just talking to himself, keep pulling and He's got clean brakes, so the dude knows how to shoot. He just shot this moose at a buck 28 and nailed it. He's our dude, man. He's our dude.
Tell us about your setup, man. What are you running? So I'm running the vintage RX-7 we found out today. Vintage. With, <laughs> with, with the RX-7 plus the Carter vintage RX-1. I'm running the new RX-8. Add them together. <laughs> okay. This is the 31 inch, I want to say. Okay. They're, um, yeah, so this is the, the 31, 31 inch um, RX-7. As far as rests go, I've got the Hamski Epsilon. Mm -hmm. I think that's an awesome, si uh, awesome rest. The limb driven. Yep. I've run the QADs and had no issues with yep. them. I like this one, so yep. tinkering around, you know. And then as far as sight goes, I have the dialed Arxos sight and yeah, I shot, I mean, I shot well with it. I feel like I shoot really well with it. I like, mm -hmm. I like features of this sight. What's your favorite feature of the Arxos dialed and what's your least favorite feature? My least favorite is probably the third axis setup. That is just difficult. I think a little bit sloppy. Okay. Um, my favorite feature I think I'm gonna have to say, yeah, I just, I, I guess my favorite feature, I like a th I like three pin verticals. And I you like, like the bubble on top? It doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother you. Yeah. Yeah, three pin verticals. I'm into more of a vertical yeah. versus horizontal. Yeah, I, I think that's cool. I don't love horizontal pins, but. What's the way, uh, arrow of choice here? A four millimeter east and axis long range. What's yep. your total arrow weight? Four millimeter, um, total arrow weight is 465, so. I've got the 300 spine yep. with the eight, the max stealth here. This is a... Two degree offset? Yeah, two degree offset, 10 degree collar, 75 grain hit, hit. insert, 100 grains of um, uh, point on that. And these are cut at, God, I want to say 20... Six and a half. I, I go as short as I can. Uh, that's and short, so, and you have to run deep six components, right? Yep. You don't yep. have okay. So Has that been a problem for you, or are you just running like iron wheel? Yeah, I'm running everything iron wheel up front, and I haven't had one issue. Okay. One issue. Your flight um, look good. What's your speeds? What's your feet per second out of this Hoyt? It's shooting two, uh, two eighty two is what I was getting out. Okay. Of. And it's set at seventy three pounds. 85% let off. Yeah, 85% let off, 73 pounds, shooting about 282. So I like to be around that. Definitely above 270, 280 is great. I'd like to get a little bit faster speed this next year. Okay. Um, so I'll probably be shooting that RX-8 with uh, maybe a 340 spot. And you're running factory strings. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're running Hoyt Stabs. Yep, no, these are not the Hoyt Stabilizers. These are the Cutter Stabilizers. Okay. So I like this. This is my, this is my favorite feature of the Cutter Stabilizer, honestly, is stowing things like this oh okay in your pack when you're hiking yep so, yep that's my favorite thing but okay these are awesome stabilizers I like those guys at cutter and <laughs> that broke <laughs> nice that's about it <laughs> guys you've been asking for it today we're finally going to deliver i got my dude jeff dodds i got my boy mountain physio preston ward we are going to cover how to warm up before you shoot your bow a especially those that have shoulder problems. This is going to have you shooting your bow better and a pain-free session and possibly more accuracy. Here we go. Okay, so when you first arrived here, yep. I selfishly wanted for you to coach me through a warm-up session before I start shooting my bow. Just like any workout, just like you know anything, I want to have active, loose shoulders before I start drawing my bow. So yeah. give me a few things. I can have one of these living in my bow case. What, what yep. should I be doing? No, I'm glad that you said that as far as active muscles, because that's what we think of when we think of a warm up. The goal is to activate those muscles. And so the number one thing I'm gonna say again, because of injuries that happen, what I see often is that rotator cuff. We're gonna target the rotator cuff first. So first thing, put this in your hand about like this. Again, you can do a little easier like this, um, or you can double it up. Go right there, arms, um, yep. So band in your palms right there. And all you're gonna do is just activate those rotator cuffs, exactly. So in first, engaging those, the scapula there, and now you're gonna externally rotate. So rotate that band outward, yeah. So if you face this direction a little bit, you can actually see that he is weaker on this side compared to this side as he's externally rotating more on that left side. So stable platform here, again, engage you hold that, that a little bit or hold that a little bit. Okay, yep. yeah. I hold mean, that a little bit. Firing me up for sure. Hold that a little bit and then rotate externally. Common errors that I see right here is when you, so go ahead and do that again. When you fatigue, you'll start to bring those shoulders shrug. up and shrug. Keep those 
shoulders away from the ears. Okay. So that's the, that's one of the number one exercises Ooh, that I would say. Coming going. Keep above exactly. So 15, 20 repetitions. You no, know, nice quick motions will be good. Um, the next one, you don't want to fatigue yourself too much, but you definitely want to activate those muscles and keep them warm. The next one, I call we call them shoulder dislocators. Okay. So again, a good mobility workout. You're going to engage that posterior deltoid by um, horizontally abducting like this, and then you're going to rotate up and back. Well, PVC now what I, action. What PVC, I like to do it with the band yeah, because sure. what it does is it engages that rotator cuff. So you're going to start here. You can go up and you can kind of do a few repetitions and then you can work into um, further uh, ranges. Okay. Try that. So I want you to choke up a little bit right okay. here. And maybe let's just start with just the one here. Sure. So again, put a little tension on that right there. Yeah, good. If I had to guess, I would... Go oh, ahead, go sorry. Ahead. No, go ahead. I just said if... I had to guess, I would say the common bow hunter does not do any type of yeah. warm-up before they shoot their bow. No, yeah, you're um, absolutely right. And I um, would like to say that I do it 100%, but I'm probably at fault as well. Mm -hmm. But I do have one of these that lives in my case for this very reason. Um, I will say the times that I have warmed up and the times that I do warm up, when I go to Salt Lake, when I go to Easton there, sure. and I warm up with the bands, then you start shooting it. Those first few shots just feel so much better. So I would definitely warm up. Um, these exercises, external rotation, these banded um, shoulder dislocators, those how are good too. How much does one of these cost? Oh, I'm, I think on my website, they're a couple bucks or so. A couple so, bucks, that's the cheapest thing you can find. Cheapest thing you case. can invest in yourself, investing in your health, investing in your shoulders. Um, like I said, I got these on my, my website. I have a few other exercises that I include in a warm up. Um, on my YouTube channel, so you can check that out. But for the most part, these exercises. Heck yeah, boulder shoulders. Thanks. Yep.